All right, sometimes you got to do what you got to do, and in this case, uh, I bought a new truck. Um, as what I call my brown truck, I uh, ended up getting uh, an engine issue, and yes, this thing is dirty, rainy weather, and muddy conditions in some spots, so uh, anyway, this, it is a dirty truck, but I do have it about three weeks. 2002 Chevy 2500 Crew Cab LS with a Duramax in it, 251,000 on it, doing some mods to it, uh, basically drove it off the dealer lot uh, in order to pull my trailers and whatnot. So, like I said, sometimes, get this thing to focus, sometimes you have to do what you got to do, but uh, check it out. I've uh, been driving it. Uh, put a couple hundred miles on it, not nothing much. 251,000 on it, spent a lot of time in Arizona, according to Carfax. Uh, the crew cab is a huge addition for me with my family. Uh, does a repair work there on there, but what do you want for 20 years old and also 251,000? Uh, but uh, did a couple things. Uh, I replaced this hub. I put tires on it. I put rear brakes on it. And that is basically it for now. Now it's uh, making it the way I want, similar to how my 94 Chevy 6.5 K2500 was. And by far, I love that truck. Unfortunately, I am selling it. Uh, some additions I'm doing is some new mirrors. I'm going to get to that in a minute. Uh, I'm going to have a separate video installing mirrors and an upgrade that was already in the truck, which is very shocking. Uh, let's see. I did remember one. I did put new headlight lenses and turn signal lenses in it. Uh, let's see here. I did buy an additional set of wheels in my area. Just so I could put my stud tires on for the winter and some say, hey, G-Mac, why do you need to do that? Because you did put these tires on and I will do a review video on these. These are the GT Radio Avent Aventero ATX. They were available in my area and all I got to say is, holy wow on the price of tires. But yes, this is my new truck. I didn't want to go away from my 6.5, but I had to make a choice. Uh, sometimes it's not what you want to do, but it's what you have to do financially in order to do it. Uh, another thing, just remembered, the plastic end on this to make the tailgate work was bad. Replace that, and then this bezel was bad. Replace that. Rust is very minimal on this truck for what I paid for it. Uh, I have some future videos on that. The Carfax, like I said, looked very good. The other negative of this truck, which reflected in the price, uh, it's not horrible now after running it a few hundred miles, and I will not do it. There is a potential that it may need injectors, but it is not horrible. So, but anyway, this is my new truck. Uh, I'll be showing some future videos on it. Uh, probably the one I should have done brakes and stuff. There's a lot of videos on that, so I am going to show installing my uh, new mirrors and an excellent upgrade but uh, I'll show you why I'm bought this instead of continue with my 6.5 all right here is my 94 Chevy K2500 6.5 uh, this is six lugs so it's a medium duty truck as well it's not as heavy as with the Duramax so here's the deal on this thing. I did replace the box. Yes, the paint does not match, but the new owner does not care. Uh, the engine has been an issue. I did get 45,000 miles out of it since I've owned it for almost six years. But uh, either a head gasket, a crack in the head happened, or a crack in the block happened. So I uh, was going to buy a brand new AM General engine. And what I was told was that uh, that brand new engine gives no warranty. 
and it would have been in around the ballpark of about $8,500 for that brand new AM general engine for this truck. And it would have been the option uh, with the to match the truck, the 6.5 with the side mount turbo and so on and so forth. But that is the main reason why I bought that truck, because that, that Duramax, because I bought the Duramax for basically the price of that new engine, give or take a few hundred dollars. And then it upgraded me to a little bit heavier truck, eight log, bigger brakes, so on and so forth. But uh, just a simple basic video on my new truck and uh, I'll be saying goodbye to this one. New owner is going to take ownership in about a week or so. Uh, giving me time to get some of the things out of it that I wanted. Uh, it's been a great ride with it for me. It, it uh, taught me a lot on diesels. Uh, this was my very first diesel truck I owned. And uh, going to miss it. Uh, the cool thing is... Uh, the new owner is local where I live, and uh, it's going to be a project for him. So, uh, and they have access to a brand new engine, as far as I know. Uh, and like I said, I chose to go the direction of that Duramax, and maybe I won't keep that long. We shall see what happens in the future. But uh, yeah, uh, the main thing what happened here it. Uh, could smell coolant, uh, couldn't see any, really any leaks or anything like that. It pressurized the system quite a bit, and then it turned the coolant black. So uh, I went from pretty green to black, and I knew right away that it was a major problem. It probably is just, just like a head gasket or something like this, but this thing does have a lot of blow-by, and when you worked it hard or pulled hard with it, which I do pull that trailer quite a bit with it, uh, it it would burn a lot of oil so uh, the new owner is very well aware of that but it fits the bill for what they want and what their need is so uh, I, I am getting a good amount of money for it for what I have in it and all the framework paint work I did to it and build it up but if I wouldn't have done that I would have got nothing it would would have went to the junkyard now for me and what I do the cap does fit on my new uh, Duramax so that will be going on my new truck and I may see if the brush guard will fit on the front of that because they don't want them and I actually told them that I I want those pieces from this truck so but yeah a uh, little video on here new truck and saying goodbye to the 65 so uh, uh, thanks for watching this is GMAC like subscribe and we'll see you on the next video